uh, creation. So we're going to get into that a little bit. And then um, the model, the relationship between the model and the data, and how we have a model view, and we have a data view um, which shows all the information um, and basically history of how the model was built. And finally, um, this, this model provides a, an example of how, the, how a model of this scale should be organized, how we typically organize models here's, here at Gary Technologies when we're um, dealing with, uh, with some of our clients. So if you have any questions um, during the seminar or um, afterwards, we'll be taking questions. Uh, if you can, please submit them uh, by tomorrow so that I can collect everyone's questions, answer them together, and send them back out with the next invitation for the next webinar, uh, which I'll send out this Friday. And the next webinar, of course, will be uh, 9 a.m. again a week from today. So. Now let's open the model and look inside. All right, so um, basically just to, to explain briefly, um, what we have here is a view of the model. Um, in this case, a 20-story tower. Um, it's just a, a made-up project. It's something that we created here at, in the office uh, for training purposes. And we see that the interface is basically made up of tool sets around the perimeter of the window. And these tool sets um, can change depending on the workbench that you're in. Right now, we're located in the project workbench, which is fine. That's, that's one that we should be working in currently for any project, um, for any, anything that we're dealing with, uh, with products. So um, the, the two views that we have located here basically is a model view, um, which you should see uh, the model um, located in the center of the screen. And then there's a specifications view, which if you notice, it, it starts to highlight the model. And basically, there's uh, a relationship that occurs between the model tree, so we sometimes call it the model tree, and uh, the model view. Um, so I'm going, the way that you navigate uh, through the model tree is by expanding the, the little buttons to the left and opening up each uh, successive um, step. And basically, um, the way that we have this uh, organized is this is something that um, we typically do here in the way that we organize large models is we have our project product and inside that we have our project site and then we have our project building so the the, the MAR designation is the project designation and we typically use three letter designations for for our models and so um, if you go down uh, one more step, you get to uh, DRV, which stands for drivers, uh, VRC, which stands for vertical circulation, envelope. And then we get into our building stories. So this, the various stories of the model are broken up into different uh, regions. Um, in this case, podium, hotel level one, mechanical level, hotel level two, and penthouse. So that's the basic um, structure. And I'll get into uh, near the end why, why it's important that we name our files properly and that we organize them in a logical fashion. In the end of the day, it makes the collaborative effort between team members um, uh, more... Uh, just a second. Can, can you mute? Okay. All right. <clears throat> so um, I uh, I want to get into just briefly um, 
the environment, and some basic questions that, that typically come to us when people are first encountering the model is, okay, how do I just rotate and, and get around the model? Well, this is something that um, you probably want to, if you haven't practiced before, uh, you want to practice um, while I'm doing it and on your own. Most of uh, the navigation within Digital Project uh, occurs around the middle mouse button. So I always start with the middle mouse button. If I hold it down, it allows me to pan around the model. And, and again, you know, for, for some of you that are already experts, this, a lot of what we're going to be covering in this first webinar is going to be pretty basic. Um, but it's important. These are kind of the essentials for the later, uh, the later parts of this series. So if I hold down the middle mouse button, I'm, I'm able to move around the model. Um, and again, uh, for those of you that aren't that familiar in, in modeling environments, I'm not actually moving the model. I'm just moving a view of the model. Um, and if I hold down the middle mouse and, and then hold down my right, click that down, I see this, this kind of circle. It looks like I'm moving around uh, this ball. And so if I, if I rotate that around, um, I'm able to, to move the, the model around um, in such a fashion. Um, if I want to be able to uh, rotate around a particular object in my view, then all I need to do is, is highlight it, select it, and click my middle mouse button. And what that's going to do is reframe on the model. So now, as you can see, my, uh, the center of the, uh, of the model is now that little corner that I picked. And all, the, all this seems kind of basic, but it's important to get a, a good handle on this um, before you, you really dive into um, modeling and, and just uh, navigating the model. So, and zooming is basically, again, the middle mouse button. I'm going to hold that middle mouse button down. And I'm going to, instead of holding the right button down, I'm going to just release it and zoom in and out. Okay, so again, it's just click and zoom, click the right button. The whole time I'm holding down the middle button, so, so everything starts from that, that middle mouse button. I usually keep my index finger on that middle mouse button and use my, my other fingers to, to handle the, the other buttons. So, um, in addition to that, uh, there's another way to navigate uh, the model, which some people prefer. Um, let's go to our tools and go down to options, which if you notice, uh, you can also open by pressing the F10 key. And if we go down to... If I go down to the general and devices and virtual reality, then the uh, if I I have two tabs here, so whenever you click an option, you get two tabs, and the tablet support tab. Um, I'm going to click on activate transformation pad, and I've noticed that some people. Um, if they feel kind of uncomfortable with the mouse, um, kind of prefer this, uh, this method for navigation. So if I click OK, I'll see uh, three shapes on, my, uh, on the perimeter of my window here. And I can use those shapes. The first one is a rotation. So if I just mouse over and click my, my left key, my left button, it allows me to rotate the model. And if I click the square in the middle, that allows me to pan the model. And the bottom one allows me to zoom. Um, I've noticed that some people prefer this. Uh, it depends on you. Um, my personal preference is to, to use the mouse. But just so you know, that's, again, located 